Sing a new song unto the Lord, let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. Yahweh's people dance for joy, oh come before the Lord. And play for him on glad tambourines, and let your trumpet sound. Sing a new song unto the Lord, let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. Rise, O oh children, from your sleep, O oh Savior, now has come. He has turned your sorrow to joy and filled your soul with song. Sing a new song unto the Lord, let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord, singing Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. On this Divine Mercy Sunday, let us celebrate and praise God's mercy for us. And let us now prepare ourselves to encounter the risen Lord at this Eucharist. And let us stand to him and seek his mercy. Lord Jesus, risen Son of God, you bring pardon and peace to all who put their trust in you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, beloved one, your mercy endures forever. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, Prince of Peace, you are the source of healing for all who have turned away from you. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen, Amen, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. 
Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindled the faith of the people you have made your own, increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed that all may grasp and rightly understand in what form they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. Give, Give thanks, thanks to the Lord, Lord for he is good. good. His Amen. love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks, thanks to, the to the Lord, Lord for he is good. good. His, His love, love is everlasting. Is A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For whoever is begotten by God conquers the world, and the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
lasts forever. What is the word that is living? It is brought to us through God's Son, Jesus Christ. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. According to John, glory to you, O Lord. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Until I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This Sunday, the second Sunday of Easter, we always read the passage of uh, Thomas's disbelief in the risen Lord. 
Thomas refused to believe even when other disciples told him that they had seen the risen Lord. Saint Thomas the Apostle has long been regarded as the patron saint of doubters. At least some of us can identify with Thomas. And it is hard for any of us to believe what we cannot see. But at the same time, we know from our experience that at times sight can deceive us. For example, in the magic shows, the magician, through his tricks, make us believe that the impossible has happened right before our eyes. And people or objects disappear all of a sudden, or appear in an unbelievable form, we know that it is not real, but it appears to be real, and we can see with our eyes. Our tendency is, is always to want to rely on what we can see and touch and experience directly. In society at large, that faith is something completely unreliable and not to be trusted without hard and tangible evidence. In today's gospel, we see that Thomas expressed his disbelief in the risen Lord. However, he was happy enough that the risen Lord appeared to him and showed his wounds on his feet and on the hands. And in one So none of us, however, get the opportunity to meet the risen Christ in the flesh. We have to rely on those who saw the risen Lord 2,000 years ago and who have handed down their words through the generations to our own day. And our is solely based on their testimony. And it is belief in the, the reality of his resurrection on which our faith is based. Not many people question the fact of Jesus' birth. But there are people who fail to believe in the, risen, the resurrection of Jesus. And without the resurrection, Christ would essentially be a nobody, a first century wonder worker who subsequent generations would run irrelevant. So belief in the resurrection of Jesus is central to our faith. It is the cornerstone of our Catholic Christian faith. Another thing that comes to our mind when we are thinking about St. Thomas is that of those who are afflicted by doubts. That after many years of being firm in their faith, they suddenly start to experience doubts. There is a serious aff affliction and can cause a lot of grief for a person. In my experience, people who suffer from this affliction really do want to believe but find that they can't anymore. And the harder they try to believe, the more difficult it gets. I tend to think that this is an affliction caused by an evil one who is trying to drive them away from their faith in God. 
It is not that they don't believe, but that so many doubts have crept in that they did not know what to think anymore. So in cases like these, I, tr I tend to counsel people not to try so hard. I suggest them that since we belong to a community of faith in which some are stronger than others, it might be good to let some of the other members of the church take the strain as it were, allowing yourself to be upheld by the faith of others at a, such a time of difficulty may in fact be the best way forward. So saying a prayer along these lines might help. Lord, I am assailed by doubts. I want to believe in you, but I find it difficult right now. Please accept on my behalf the faith of my brothers and sisters in the church and continue to sustain me with your love so that I might return to true faith in you. And at times like these, the support of St. Thomas, the apostle, can be of great help. He is the very best, best patron for those who doubt and are suffering from lack of faith. So let me suggest that if you are experiencing this sort of thing, to turn to him and ask his intercession so that you can once again say together with him those immortal words, my Lord and my God. Today we also celebrate the Divine Mercy Sunday. Our psalm today gives us the assurance that his mercy endures forever. And St. Peter reminds us that we receive a new birth because of God's great mercy. And in today's Gospel, the reason Jesus gives mercy as his first gift. He said, receive the Holy Spirit and whose sins you forgive are forgiven them. So divine mercy summarizes the message of the Bible and the gift of our Savior Jesus Christ. So let us pray for God's mercy on us and our families and on the whole world as we celebrate the Divine Mercy Sunday. Let us now profess our faith in the risen Lord. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, in through heaven and earth. I believe in this world. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, only God and Son, Lord God, light from light, true God from true God, be God and not made. In substantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For us, He came down from Him. The Holy Spirit was incarnate of the earth and became man. For our sake, He was the conscious Father. He suffered and understood. And rose again on the third day. In accordance with the scriptures, He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. He don't will really have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, 
confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins and i look forward to the resurrection let us now confidently bring the needs of the church needs of the world and our own needs for the church that we may strive to build a world where everyone cares for the common good where no one is needy and where everyone's material needs are satisfied we pray to the lord lord a hero of prayer for leaders of nations that they may work for justice and reconciliation within their countries and regions seeking an end to conflict and discord we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that we will become wise stewards of the resources of our fragile planet we pray to the lord our prayer that young people will answer the holy spirit's call to share the good news through dedication to Christian service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be an instrument of peace in our nation and our community, especially between those who are divided by race, gender, class, or politics. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick will know the healing power of the risen Christ. And for all the prayer intentions listed in the book in the vestibule of our church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died will rejoice in the reward of everlasting life, especially. Miriam P. W. Nigili, parishioner, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions recommended to our parish, in particular those of this Mass, Jeanette Timmering, we pray to the Lord. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, thank you for listening. These prayers and the prayers that we carry in our hearts, grant this through Christ our Lord.
Let us pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord receive the sacrifice. Accept, O Lord, we pray the oblations of your people, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Up the Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to love you, yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with the paschal joy, every land, every people, exhort in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the found of all holiness. Let us now pray to the Holy Spirit to come down upon these offerings and make them body and blood of Christ. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and endeared willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Let us now pray for our church, all the leaders, and all the members of the church. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of a charity together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Archbishop, all the clergy, religious, and the faithful, especially those who are persecuted for their faith. 
Let us also remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Martha, our patron, Saint Barnabas, Saint Bartholomew, Saint Pius, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us now all together say the Lord's Prayer as we prepare ourselves to receive the body of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share this peace of Christ with one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Body of Christ. Amen. Amen. 
Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, alleluia. Therefore let us keep the feast with the unloving bread of purity and truth, alleluia, alleluia. Godhead here in hiding, whom I do adore, masked by these bare shadows, sheep and nothing more. See, Lord, at thy service, low lies here a heart, lost all lost in wonder at the God thou art. Seeing, touching, tasting, are in thee deceived. How says trusty hearing that shall be believed? What God's Son has told me, take for truth I do. Truth himself speaks truly, or there's nothing new. On the cross thy Godhead made no sign to men. Here thy very manhood steals from human ken. Both are my confession, both are my belief. And I pray the prayer of the dying thief. I am not like Thomas, wounds I cannot see, but I plainly call thee, Lord and God, as he. This faith each day deeper be my holding of, daily make me harder, hope and dearer love. <clears throat> Crucified, living bread, the life of us for whom he died. Lend this life to me, then feed and feast my mind. There, this man was meant to find. Like what tender tales tell of the pelican. Bathe me, Jesus, Lord, in what thy bosom ran. Blood but one drop of has power to win. All the world forgiveness of its world of sin.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. We have two announcements. We have started a new form of communication platform here at St. Martha Parish. It is called Evangelist and is provided through our bulletin publisher, Diocesan. You should have received an email this week announcing the Holy Week services. All future emails will be coming from St. Martha Less Than Message at e.diocesan.com. This is not a scam. Please watch for a detailed description in next, next week's bulletin. Any question, please call Father C I mean Mary Evelyn in the parish office. <laughs> Boy Scout Flower Pickup Day is the weekend of April the 24th from 12 to 2 in the afternoon at the ball field. See the bulletin for more information, dates, and times. Uh, one thing I like about St. Martha Parish is that many of you spend, are willing to spend a lot of time with the church. Uh, this week and the couple of uh, previous weeks, I was able to see many of you are spending time with the, in the church campus. Some of you were tidying up the yard, some of them painting the statues outside the Marian statues, and some of them made the cross, uh, which we depicted around the fence, and some of these decorations were made by some of your uh, congregations here, some of the members. So I wanted to thank everybody, especially you, know, you step up when you see a need. So I want to thank, uh, I think that is a great thing that you feel this is your church, this is your family, and I want to thank each one of you, especially those who are step forward and uh, contributed your time. So let us put our hands together for all those who have done that. So, and want to thank you everyone for coming this uh, afternoon to celebrate the Divine Mercy Sunday, and I hope you have a blessed Sunday and a blessed week. The Lord be with you. And the blessing of the Almighty God be with you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended, go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. Joy has blessed us.